it's Friday. We have your last activity for the week. Um, this time we're going to start in the garden and we're going to bring what we make out on our walk with us. These are some of the things that you might need today. I've got my pipe cleaners again, the secretaire, scissors, some hazel that we collected the other day. Remember, if you look at it, it's that sort of very, very straight, slightly shiny kind of wood. Um, but equally, anything can work for this task. Um, it might just be easier if it's straighter. We've got some string, some um, material, and our mallet because we're going to incorporate our Happer Zone technique. For our boat challenge today, we are going to make some boats here and take them down to our river. Now, if you're not lucky enough to have a river um, near you, you can always put them in the bath. That's fine as well. I'm gonna start by cutting my hazel into equal pieces that are gonna be the main bits across my boat, roughly equal. Um, there you go. So it doesn't matter how many pieces you cut, depends on the size of your boat you want. And I'm gonna keep going with that. So I've lined up my sticks here. This is the kind of boat that I'm going to make. So I'm going to have two uh, structures here and then I'm going to tie on the ones going across. We're going to work to secure the sticks together now. So we're going to start with our clove hitch, which we taught, taught you before. So I'm going to make a loop here and another loop here. Now, if you look closely, I've got the front loop is going uh, down in front of the string in front and the one behind is going behind the string there. What I do now is I put the front one, tuck it just behind, so I'm not turning it or anything like that, just tucking it in straight behind it and I'm going to put it onto my stick and I'm going to pull the two ends and this is a clove hitch. So once again, if you look behind, it's got the two sort of bits of string there and it's got a cross in the front. That's the first bit secured onto my stick. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do square lashing. This is the stick goes over onto the cross of my um, clove hitch. And I'm gonna take this long bit of string here and I'm gonna go over and under and behind over, under and behind. And I'm going round in a sort of square shape. So over, under and behind, over, under and behind, over, under and behind. And we need to do this about three times. Once you've gone round three times, so you can see, I've got three pieces of string here. So this is what it looks like on the front. This is what it will look like on the back. So you can see if you've done it right, there shouldn't be crisscross bits of string everywhere. They just follow that sort of square pattern. Um, once I've done that, I need to go back the other way, which will lock all of those strings together. So rather than going behind this stick, I'm going to go behind this stick that I've already gone over and I'm going the other way. So I was going behind this one before, now I'm going in front. I was going in front of this one before, so I'm going to go behind doing the opposite. So over this one, under this one. And what that's doing is pulling those bits tighter and tighter and tighter. Once I've done that three times, I need to secure it, so I take these two ends and I'm going to do a reef knot. So right, over left and under and pull and left, over right and under and pull and you can see that is quite sturdy and I'm going to continue adding on the different parts of my boat here and um, using that clove hitch and square lashing technique. Once uh, I've done that I'll have a look at how my boat is looking 
this is just one way to do your boat there are lots and lots of other ways so use your imagination once again if string is a bit too tricky you can use pipe cleaners but it really depends on the age and stage of the children or adults that are doing it okay megan's making her boat in a slightly different way we're going to give a few goes challenge so she has started by putting a clove hitch on each side of her boat um, in the middle of the string so leaving it long so you can see um, each string has got a long length left and then what she's doing is she's putting a stick there you go show her how she's doing it so she's putting a stick on top of the next one and then just using the beginning of a reef knot just to secure the net stick on. There you are, you can see. So she's doing one side and then having a go on the other side. So as you can see, there are loads and loads of different ways to make your boat. There is no right or wrong way. Um, all of these ways are just practicing tying things together. As I said before, you can use string, you can use pipe cleaners, Whatever you find is useful. We're just going to see how they float later. Who do you think is going to win, Meg? Me. <laughs> Megan has decided that her boat is a bit flimsy. It's, it's a good uh, size, but it's a bit flimsy. So she's attaching on um, a sort of crossbar and she's done a clove hitch there to attach it on. And now she's doing a bit of square lashing a bit fiddly having to weave it on but I think that might make your boat a bit stronger Megan. <laughs> this task definitely in, uh, requires a lot of problem solving so Megan is trying to work out how to put her, a mast on her boat now. Um, this is a great activity it really does encourage problem solving. Things go wrong and you've got to try again so it also is a great one for resilience and persistence not tying there's so many skills that come out of this but we're just hoping to have a little bit of fun messing about on the river with our boats later I megan's boat is looking good the mast is standing she's used a clove hitch in the middle and secured that mast either side there and the last thing we need is a flag for our mast so i'm gonna have a go at a bit of happy zone over here so i've chosen a leaf from our garden today i hope this will work i've got a piece of material i'm gonna fold it over in half over my leaf using my mallet with two hands and we just give it a little tap leaves differ with how much color comes out of them and um, if they're quite waxy they don't tend to work i've not tried this type of leaf before so we're going to give it a go there we go and if i open it up given a little bit of a, oh that comes out nice that side okay so now I'm going to put two little holes in my material just a tiny hole there and a tiny hole here like that and I'm going to secure I think I might use a bit of a pipe cleaner to secure this one so I'm going to push my pipe cleaner through my hole, like that, and I'm going to tie it onto my mast using those twisting, turning the tap fingers again. And that's one side. My other side, putting my pipe cleaner through the little hole I've made. Wrapping it around my stick and using my turn in the tap fingers. And that looks ready to sail. Forever Green Forest School's first launch. We're here at the river. It's quite a shallow river, we're very lucky. And it's just about moving, so we're going to see if we can give it a go on its uh, first launch and hopefully it doesn't get eaten by willow. Here we go. It's staying afloat, the flag is slightly sinking, it's not moving anywhere. I'm give it a little push. The water's so shallow here. 
Is it off? Is it off? Give it. Oh, we've got a stuck on the rock. Let's go into a slightly deeper section. There we go. And we're off. <laughs> I think it's anchoring. It's anchored too much in the water there. So here's my boat. It's a bit flimsy. So... Launching on its victory voyage. Is it going to stay afloat? And it's moving! Oh yes! Here it comes and Willow's going to come and eat it. <laughs> it's gone! It's going, it's working! Yes! You better catch it before it disappears. Right, time for the ultimate competition. Two boats against one. Here we go. They're going in. No, that's cheating your head. Yes, they're both sailing now. <laughs> My one's stuck. Oh no! Come on, <laughs> Megan. Last test to see whose boat is the best. We found a bit of a slightly yeah. deeper bit of river. On your marks, get set, go. Oh! Okay, oh, oh, mine's stuck again. Can I give it a bit of? Willow's helping. It's okay. There and you are. <laughs> Megan's feeling a bit proud with her winning mm. boat. It was the fastest after all. Well done. We've had great fun messing around on our river today. If you don't remember, if you don't have a river near you, you can always do it in the bath. Um, whose boat is going to float? Whose will go the fastest? Have good fun.